Hi there, my name is Connor Burke and welcome to my channel. This is a game review of Journey of a Roach, an adventure indie point and click game. Uh, the developer is Cobold Games and Daedalic Entertainment, and the publisher is Daedalic Entertainment. It came out in 2013, it's got mostly positive reviews, or very positive reviews, and it's currently for £6 on Steam. Uh, it's got single player Steam achievements for controller support and Steam trading cards. Uh, it's rated H3 onwards um, and it's for Windows 7 to 8 and I played it on 10 and it was fine. Nuclear War, Post Apocalypse, Barren and Lifeless Wastelands. Lifeless, not so much. Mutated insects have made their home in a bush bomb shelter. I say bomb, bush shelter there. And they're set on exploring the world. Let this point and click adventure welcome you to a hairy's bizarre end time world and join the roaches, Jim and Bud on their hilarious adventures. So I have played the full game. I've linked it here in the playlist in my video here so you can you can look at it, you can watch the playlist. Um, the, the graphics are awesome, absolutely awesome. I mean there's cartoon you know, images and um, it's not kind of corny images. Uh, Bud and you know, Jim and Bud are hilarious, absolutely hilarious. When I first started this game up, um, you start off and you're moving sort of along, you, you pick up a daisy or a flower or something, I can't remember, and then you end up in this um, underground, you know, in, in, the, in the bomb shelter, and straight from the off, you're doing a puzzle. And I was just absolutely cracking up, because what happens is you can move your roach all over the ceilings, the walls, you know, and it isn't a case of you just move up there and the, you know, the room stays the same, it follows you. So if you go onto the ceiling, the ceiling pivots so you end up walking on the ceiling but you're actually on the floor if that makes sense. Um, there's, there's quite a few puzzles, some of them are infuriating, I could not figure, or well, obviously I could figure them out, but some of them you just cannot figure out at first, you're like, what the hell do I have to do here? Um, there's there was a couple of infuriating ones with um, electric. My God, that took hours to complete. And then when I figured it, I was like, "Oh, that's all I have to do." But I had to keep recording, and recording that bit. Uh, there are other things down there. There's the ants that don't like the roaches, um, and there's other creatures as well. I think there's a centipede and uh, some other things. I can't remember exactly what they were, but there, there were some interesting characters down there. So basically, you're trying to get back to the surface. Uh, and also you're trying to rescue your mate. Um, I can't remember which, if it's Jim or Bud that ends up sort of disappearing and then you have to try and rescue him, um, which I thought was quite fun. Uh, poor little guy had all sorts of uh, issues happening to him and the other guy was just plodding along doing all the solving. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a very good game. If you like adventure games, you like funny games, you know, not just like, oh, I'm going through the motions here, but you're like, you know, you can kind of go all over the place and you you find quirky little things. You'll love this. You will love it. It's Daedalic Entertainment, and I seem to like a lot of their stuff. They publish a lot of stuff that I've actually enjoyed. So this is another one up there with them all. Uh, like I say, some of the infuriating bits is when you're actually upside down and you're trying to walk... There was a, a bit like a maze, but well, it wasn't really much of a maze, but when you ended up walking on the ceilings and the walls and stuff, you get completely lost and you're like, where the hell am I? And then you come back and think, oh, hang on, I'm back at the beginning again. Oh, right, yeah, because I've just gone upside down, back to front and all over the place, and then you're back again. Um, so, yeah, yeah. So, like I say, if you like that kind of thing, then play this. You, you, you will love it. I mean, straight from the off, like I said, I was in hysterics. Um... I thought, I thought it was an awesome game. Awesome. And if, if you like a game straight from the off, you're guaranteed you're going to love the rest of the game. So there you go. Okay, well, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this uh, game review of Journey of a Roach. I have other games in my channel. Um, so quite a few by Daedalic. Um, but nothing like Roach, I don't think. I think it goes upside down or anything. I don't really remember. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you want to. Give me the old thumbs up if you like this video. And write comments in the comments box below if you like this and you want to see more. Um, adventure kind of games. Okay, thank you for watching and goodbye.